Hi, my name is Rebecca Mooney and welcome to my presentation on human rights which will be taught to first years. The rationale behind me choosing this topic was to encourage students to know and understand their rights as human beings. To make students aware that children and adults in some other countries around the world are denied these human rights. And to show students that there is a difference between your right to something and your want of something. By the end of this lesson, I hope students will firstly have an understanding of the United Nations Direct Declaration of Human Rights. Secondly, I hope students will become aware of the rights of the child specifically. And finally, I hope students will be able to give examples of how some people are denied certain human rights. To activate any prior knowledge students may have on this topic, I'll propose a very broad question to the class. What do you know about human rights? I will give students two to three minutes to think of some material. I will then go around the class classroom asking students for their thoughts and ideas on the question. I will develop a mind map on the board using the students' ideas and concepts. I will also add my own knowledge to broaden some ideas that might perhaps be slightly vague. Students will take this mind map down into their own copies to use it as an introduction to the topic. Following the activation of prior knowledge, students will be shown a short video clip on YouTube titled Human Rights in Two Minutes. I chose this resource as I felt it was student friendly. The narrator spoke clearly and concisely. The graphics were excellent, it was colourful and engaging to watch. Once the video is complete, I will project a picture onto the board of pages 26 and 27 out the ebook Make a Difference by Folans. We as a class will read the different rights displayed. Following this, I will ask students to engage in a think pair share activity. This is where students pair up with the person beside them to develop their own ideas. As a pair, students will be asked to choose five rights from the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights and rank them in order of importance. I will be walking around the classroom while this activity is ongoing to ensure everyone is aware of the details of the task and to ask questions on their decision. In the development section of this lesson, the focus will be on the rights of the child. Students will be shown another video clip titled For Every Child 2010, which was produced by UNICEF. A summary of the rights of the child will be provided to each student. Students will then be asked to revert back into their pairs and asked to develop five points on what they believe to be the forgotten rights. These are the rights that some children are denied. For example, some children in third world countries are not provided with clean running water. Once this exercise is complete, I will ask each pair for an example and an explanation to this exercise. To conclude the lesson, students will be posed with the question, what could the Irish government do to improve the lives of children in Ireland today? And they must list three things or steps. However, there is a slight twist to this task. Students are required to answer this through an infograph. This means they can use pictures, diagrams, labels or even speech bubbles to answer the question. A teaching strategy that I adopted in this lesson was the think-pair-share concept. 
This is an ideal exercise to use in the classroom as it promotes the sharing and strengthening of ideas. It also saves the teacher a lot of time in organising students into groups. Using video clips to teach a concept is ensuring an active and engaging class. It breaks up the schedule of the class and keeps students intrigued. CSPE is a subject in which discussion is crucial. It gives students an opportunity to voice their opinion on certain aspects of society. Through group discussion, you, the teacher, can gauge whether certain students are grasping certain concepts or not. It's a subject in which lots of questions are asked, both from teacher and students. The thumbs up, thumbs down method is also very useful. It is a quick way of checking if students are understanding the material being presented to them or not. To ensure no student ever feels uncomfortable in the classroom, it is important for the teacher to know the circumstances of each student in the room. This is to ensure sensitivity around certain topics, for example homelessness or poverty. It would also be an idea to agree as a class group that everything said in the classroom is to be kept in the classroom for utmost confidentiality. By the end of the lesson, I hope students are firstly more aware of their rights and where these rights came from. Secondly, to be more open-minded about how some people's rights are not as fulfilled as others might be. And thirdly, how to be more active in society and how we can do better to improve the other people's rights. This brings my presentation to an end. Thank you so very much for watching.